Good morning. Right here beneath the uh, apple tree, uh, next to the tractor, the other apple tree, and the dragon apple tree, and we're just out here. We had frost uh, yesterday morning for 35 minutes, and uh, the banana uh, completely browned and wilted. So started uh, piling it with mulch. Uh, the idea is to keep the ground from freezing uh, so that the corn survives. Uh, so I got a bunch more mulch to pile up, but that's a start. <coughs> and then I stepped outside to check in in the Gnome Ferry area and uh, noticed the tiniest little, like a grain of sand, only snow, and then another, and then this is, you know, just where, as far as I had gotten with the work, and now we have rot proper snow, and I have no business trying an accent. <coughs> I felt like I needed to say right proper, and I've only ever heard it in the accent. And uh, <coughs> it's an interesting feeling. You know, good morning, by the way. Uh, there's an interesting feeling. Uh, when the snow comes like this, and it's early in the season, um, so it kind of comes with no anxiety, no fear, no sort of pressingness, <coughs> or pressingness is uh, such as would come later. You know, are we going to lose power? Uh, just while I'm walking here, I always kind of find something to do. And there's uh, quite often a few rocks to move. This is where I was digging compost out, and this rock is hot. It's actually hot sitting here in the compost. And anyway, the snows that will likely come later in the season will tend to feel as if they arrive. I'm, I'm just walking this rock to somewhere helpful. There's the uh, compost that came from the compost barn. There's the horse barn. And uh, that's now become dirt. We have some wood chips here. But anyway, the uh, Snows that are likely to come later. Um, there's our hot. They're likely to come and feel as though they come with their own anxieties and pressingnesses. Will we lose power? I know I said this already, but I was distracted. And that's because I'm talking about meditation, not meditating. Do I have to shovel? Is there salt on the icy bits? Will the car start? Uh, when is the plow coming? Do I need to plow myself? Are the horses okay in the snow? Etc. 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 But now in this early snow, there's no anxieties that seem to come with it. I'm just going to pick up this root. And so, what we end up with, I guess you guys are doing yard work with me, by the way. There's always plenty to do. What we're left with in this early snow is just the snow and I. I'm picking up a piece of firewood, bring it to the firewood pile. I'm left with the snow and I. 
I'm left with the hush of snow. I'm left with the the birth of the sheer aesthetic pleasure of the snow. To be sure, my experience in the snow, there's some old compost. <coughs> to be sure, the experience in the snow is not unlike that of a child. It's just, wow, delight, oh, look, listen, wow, feel, stick your tongue out. It doesn't feel as if it weighs on the heart and the mind. I have to get out and shovel. This is going to cost however much to have it plowed. Uh, I'm going to hurt my back shoveling. We don't have hot cocoa yet. Whatever. <coughs> I think this fallen tree we can hang out under a little bit. Maybe keep the screen a little bit dry. You might be able to see the birch tree. A great birch in the background. But this snow in fact well I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see if uh see that? That's a snowflake that's caught on what I would guess is a spider web. Whoa. <laughs> I'm sure it won't focus on it with this well, that is pretty cool. I'm actually seeing all this snow come down quite vertically. And then there's like this one suspended in time that's not blur, blurred, at least to my eye. Of course, you know, it'll be blurred for you. But it's as if I'm just seeing billions of snowflakes blurring vertically down. And one is just held suspended for me. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but like the level that it's at, it's just my third eye, <laughs> right where I happen to have decided to stand. So I think I'll, I'll stay here for a bit. Now it's got company, and the two have merged. I don't know if that came out in the video. <laughs> Thank you, Snowflake. <laughs> Snowflakes. Thank you, Spiderweb. Oh, wow, I can see a few more up here. I don't I have no idea if you guys, if that'll come out. But I can see another suspended and another suspended. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so, <coughs> I suppose it's not too unlike the idea of suspending the intention, the the executive function that's sort of resident around the pineal and the third eye, such as an adult is very likely to make when the snow comes, start considering all the uh, challenges it presents. And, you know, the toddler, the child, is snowing, I'm excited, uh, whatever they want to do with that, take pictures, draw art, make hot cocoa, run outside in it, shovel it, sledding, skiing, whatever, but it's uh, it's no pressingness, no anxiety, no worries. And so I thought that this little meditation, there's some more hanging here. <laughs> Look at that. I think it's just a little too heavy, so it's just slowly falling. Again, I can't tell what I'm aiming the camera at, but these two have just merged. Wow. Um, anyway, my thought was that we could take this intention 
into consideration <clears throat> during the winter ahead and the likely snow and anxieties and stuff and recognize that the snow doesn't bring them I give them to the snow and maybe I can touch in on this memory now where it's snowing and I do not have them they do not seem to have come with the snow I did not give them to the snow they're not present there's the snow there's myself and so my meditation <coughs> here is one of awareness of my own experience my own interaction with the context I find myself in and an attempt to impress that into my memory uh, for later so I'm trying not to just look at the snow and take it in and have my snow fantasies and considerations and sort of aesthetic uh, exquisitenesses uh, trying to feel the lack of things in me with regard to the snow that beautiful empty childlike response where I'm filled with delight and awe for me the touchstone will be that particular hush of the the snow there's a particular quiet when there's snow and so I expect that hush will be there when it snows later if it does and if I give that snow my anxieties but that hush may help me hush my third eye thank you snowflake thank you spiderweb <coughs> and then feel into this memory now when I know that it's possible to experience the snow as a child let's see if I give uh, one more chance to see the hanging snowflake here don't know if it'll focus it's, I guess it's unlikely to and there's another one here just and now now that I'm tuned in I can see a few more and these are coming down like repellers I don't know uh, again obviously if you can see it but it's sort of repelling down oh that's my finger hello <laughs> okay <laughs> still sort of a last look at the snow <laughs> thank you